the, the industry let's understand this industry a little better um i have seen these terms prs btr sfr being used interchangeably and it is a recipe for confusion uh maybe maybe you could um, demystify as we started with right so what, what what is the difference are the differences between those three sure perfect maybe i'll also explain what each of those letters mean uh so prs is the private rented sector btr is built to rent and sfr is single family residential okay um i would almost sort of bucket prs and sfr in together because prs is it's generally more referred to prs in the uk whilst in the us they refer to it more as sfr but it's generally it's generally more granular individual assets um that make up an entire rental portfolio multiple many of them oftentimes hundreds could be uh put together um and and made into a into a single portfolio whilst btr built to rent is purely focused on it's something that that's you know in, it's been going on in the us for quite some time it's the development construction and and letting out uh of of a, of a building that is purpose built for rental it's almost almost like multifamily housing okay um so th- those are th- those are two different things because you know prs sfr is generally related to second hand stock not always is in the US oftentimes there there could be a little bit of an overlap between BTR and SFR as um I don't want to get too detailed into how it works in the US but um it's in Europe it's primarily second hand housing stock whilst BTR is 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 completely new built okay mm-hmm. um you know in the US multifamily housing has been big for for decades um just sort of the if you sort of look at how cities are are built in the US and the and the amount of land it was relatively much easier for a developer or an investor to build a building from scratch in relatively a city center and have it be you know completely purpose built and designed for a, a rental solution whilst in Europe at least in at least in southern Europe and Spain that's something that's really been sort of it's it's a bit newer and it's been uh, growing in sort of uh, in interest at, over the past you know few years um and then whilst sfr and prs was generally made up was was by smaller individual landlords um that would own 3 4 or 5 scattered units and what we're doing in portfolio solutions is we are allowing an institutional level exposure to the sfr prs sector of aiding individual invest uh, of aiding institution investors in building up portfolios of individual units at scale which previously wasn't possible is it sort of the the, the kind of the, the kind of work to acquire identify a uh, granular assets is it's 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 is a different um ball game i guess compared to to btr which is which is a little bit more um professionalized experience behind it let's agree whether this is right or wrong is sfr a more likely choice for institutional investors over multifamily home is there a pref- preference of one over the other yes i mean i would say there's a bias maybe not preference there's a bias towards multifamily housing for many reasons one it's something that you know there it's it's easier to manage and the management process is is very important if you have a portfolio of 300 units and it can be in one building or it can be you know 300 units that are scattered from it from an economies of scale perspective from managing perspective it's easier in 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 a single building in multifamily housing much harder um on the single unit side but i think one thing that's unique about about europe and the, particularly our city centers as we do not have this plethora of space that you might have in in cities in the us if you want exposure to to call it more you know centrally located assets PRS SFR is really the only way to go. You know if I'm thinking about Madrid, I cannot build a portfolio or build, build a building rather in the in the heart of Madrid in 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 the middle of the center of a, a ground up construction. It can you can, I shouldn't say you cannot, but it's it's generally just too costly, it's too difficult. Um thus that's why if you look at in Spain a lot of the BTR projects are sort of in the peripheries of of the cities, not in not in the core center. While But- Is, yes. isn't it counterintuitive you said europe has lack of space vis-a-vis us yes in the space, space. Yeah. you you would want to build more units per building no you would want more units towards you you would want more units you would want unit concentration versus not from the management perspective but right. what i'm saying is because you cannot build or it's difficult rather to build 
a purpose-built rental building in the city center in Europe. Your only alternative, if you if you want prime or centrally located exposure, is through construct. I guess shouldn't say construction, rather um, acquisitions of single units and and joining them together into a portfolio rather than being able to acquire a single building full of of, 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 of rental stock. Got it. Got it. So the portfolio could be scattered portfolio, and that is okay. Yeah, yeah, that and that's a scattered portfolio. Really, is what S is the heart of SFR. It's a scattered portfolio, and we're here to show investors that it can be done efficiently in terms of the build up, in terms of the management, and you'll get exposure from it from a dip just to a, a different location than you would in, in BTR. Got it. Um, excellent. So, so for Casafari's operations in around Europe, it would be. It would be SFR primarily, I suppose, for institutions. Yeah, exactly. SF, SFR is really our, our, our value add, unlocking the ability to, to identify and build up a portfolio of single units. Excellent. Cool. Thank you. <laughs>